Hello, hello, everybody. We're going to jump right into the Word. Thank you, Lord, for your Word. It leads us, guides us, and directs us into all truth in Jesus' name. Not just biblical truth, but into all truth. Amen. That's enough to start shouting right there. Every decision you make, you can base it on biblical truth, and you'll be making right decisions. No more wrong decisions, trial and error. Just start making right decisions. Amen. That'd be good. We're going to, we're, we've started a new series, and it is called True Joy. What happens when you tap into the joy of the Lord? What happens for you, you tap into true peace then? What happens you tra- tap into true wisdom? What happens you tap into uh, true acceptance? Today we're going to go over the word accept acceptance so that's a powerful word if you accept the lord jesus christ then there's a second part you have to confess him as lord and believe in your heart that god raised jesus from the dead therefore you're saved acceptance of of what the bible is saying and doing and speaking means that you're saying doing and speaking if you're saying it's your accept oh i accept the bible is a truth you didn't really accept the Bible. Oh, I accept Jesus is a is a, a prophet or a servant of God, then you didn't accept Jesus. Because he said he's the son of God. That's way more. That's, that's a greater acceptance. So whatever area in life that your acceptance, that has to do with your joy level. That has to do with your joy level right there. Look in Ephesians, the first chapter, in verse 6. To the praise, praise is, you know, level of joy there. Praise of the glory of His grace, wherein He hath, not going to have, He's already done this. He hath made us, He made us. You didn't make yourself. So you didn't make yourself saved. All you did was just line up with what He said to do. You accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior with your mouth and accepted us in the beloved so now he's talking about who he's talking about born again people if you're not born again you're not accepted by God because you didn't choose to accept him so he can't force himself on you well what do you do well I suggest very strongly that you accept him and start doing what he's saying so you accept him and start doing what he's saying amen so you accept him Now, a sure sign that you didn't accept Him is you have to also accept who you are in Christ Jesus. There's 139 verses of Scripture in the New Testament. It tells you they're in Him Scriptures, inheritance Scriptures. Uh, They're not going to be. They are. This is what you have in Christ. You see this one here? It says, To the praise of His glory and His grace, within he hath made us accepted in you see that well you are accepted in the beloved if you don't realize that you're accepted then your whole life all you're going to be doing is trying to get god to accept you that's religion that's religion religion is a killer because religion will kill you and everybody around you why because religion is is designed to keep the eyes on you, on your performance, on what you did. It's all about you, 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 hoping God someday will accept you. That's not it. That's that's wrong. That's not in the Bible. That's death to your spiritual life, natural life. You're not even hooked up with God. So what do you do? Well, you got to cons- you got to accept what Jesus has done. And the way that you accept what Jesus has done is right here. It says you're accepted in the beloved in Christ Jesus. Well, how do you know if you are? You got joy. If you if your joy level's low, then you're thinking about, uh oh, I messed up. I I I, I uh, I'm guilty. I you know what I did. Jesus' blood won't forgive me. I guess I'm just not a good Christian. That's why this is all happening to me. I might as well go out and 
kicked the dog and eat worms. Well, why people think that way? Because they listen to do the wrong things. They listen to even religious things that produce death. Get away from it. That's why it's so important to keep tapping in these videos. I see people they call me, you know, or get a hold of me or text me uh, comments or something. And they get away from the videos after two or three days and they're like all bummed out praying for me. I'm like, you don't need prayer. Well, I can't believe you're a preacher and not going to pray for me. I said, that's the wrong antidote. You don't need the wrong antidote. They said, well, what's the antidote? I said, well, when did you start uh, getting down in the monograph? I started getting away from the Bible, started getting away from God, started getting away. Well, so no amount of prayer is going to get you back in there. You're the one that has to start getting back in there and realize you're accepted in the beloved. You want to read that one? She's got a little bit different version. We'll see what it said. It's uh, 8, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 6. He made us accepted. We didn't make ourselves accepted. We didn't make ourselves saved. We didn't make ourselves filled with the Holy Spirit. We didn't make ourselves healed. All the pressure is off of you. He didn't. He, you didn't make yourself financially blessed or delivered or set free. All you did was accept what He said about you enough that it changes your vocabulary that you start just saying what he's accepted you in. Well, I gotta quit this. You don't you don't understand, Pastor Mike. I gotta quit this and I gotta stop that and I gotta quit doing this, but I gotta get cleaned up. And I understand all that, but it's religion and you never will be successful at it. No one was ever successful about changing their heart in the old testament. That's old testament law that you're living under. Galatians 3.13 says you've been redeemed from Old Testament law. So you got to quit doing it. So it's human nature to try to change yourself. But faith would just simply say, I'm accepted in the Beloved. But that stuff just falls off of you. And then you can have true joy. Amen. When you find out who that you're accepted in God, you have true joy. See, it's not about what you did or didn't do. It's about what He's done for you and you accept what he's done for you and when you do that all the pressure's off see when you realize over there in colossians chapter 1 and in verse 29 it says our verse 2 12 in verse 12 colossians 1 12 if you qualify he hath accepted you ephesians chapter 1 verse 6 God did it. God did it. He's accepted you. Okay? No more inferior, uh, no more even superior uh, acting attitudes. You just flow with Him. It actually produces humility. It means you're teachable. Colossians chapter 1, verse 12. God has, Jesus has qualified you. You're qualified. You're qualified. Qualified for salvation, qualified for the Holy Spirit. I, there's a lot of people, they think that, oh, I can't get saved because I did this, this, and this. Paul was a mass murderer. What happened? He got knocked off his high horse. <laughs> Amen. And realized it wasn't about him, it's about the Lord Jesus Christ living through him. He's the one that wrote these things. How did he got it firsthand? He found out to him because when he looked at himself, all he could get had guilt and shame. Then he found out, hey, he wrote down Romans chapter eight, verse one: God didn't give us the spirit of condemnation, 
but the freedom in Christ Jesus. The, that's one of the in him scriptures. So you are accepted in Christ Jesus. You are qualified because of Christ Jesus. Galatians, uh, Colossians chapter 1, verse 12. You're qualified. And also in Colossians 2.10, you are complete. You are complete. You start thinking, you know what? I don't have adequate clothing. I don't have adequate food. I don't have adequate transportation. I don't have adequate anything. Friends, relatives. I don't have adequate building. I don't have adequate nothing. Take all the pressure off and just start saying, hey, he qualified me. I'm qualified. Hey, Jesus has qualified me. He accepted me. I'm the accepted. I'm the qualified. Uh, it don't matter what your friends or foe think. You're qualified. You are complete. And you are complete in Him. You are accepted. You are qualified. And you are complete. Have you ever noticed something? God always picks people that don't have confidence in themselves. He picks people that realize, hey, I'm accepted because of Him, not something I did. I'm qualified not because I have all the smarts upstairs or looking intelligent and pretty or whatever else. No, He didn't call you because of that. He's just looking for someone that's going to depend upon Him more. Matter of fact, if, 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 if you, uh, so if you maybe uh, you're a person that really don't have any natural qualifications, good. Ooh, God don't need them ones that got all them qualifications. He, he needs the ones that give, it takes the qualifications of what God's telling them to do. Amen. So if you're bummed out, it's because you listen to some other voice that other who you are in Christ. You start thinking, you know what? I'm accepted. You know what? I'm qualified in Him. You know what? I'm complete. You start thinking those things. We're talking about true joy, true peace, true happiness. Then you got it. Amen. It's that simple, brother and sister. He didn't make it hard. He made it easy. It's so easy. People stumble over it and looking for something else. That's why people have addictions. They're trying to stay happy. This is your true happiness. And chemical drugs, them things work. But the trouble is it'll kill you and separate you from God. So what do you want to do? Accept what He says about you. Accept that you're qualified. Accept that you're complete in Him. You don't have it. You're not an incomplete person. It's not, it never was based on your goodness anyway. See, that'd be self-righteousness. No, you got to depend upon His righteousness is a gift from God. These are all gifts. Being accepted is a gift that God gave you. Yeah, but look at all this stuff I've done. He didn't, he didn't look at the stuff you did. He looked at the stuff Jesus did. Yeah, but look at all this stuff. I'm disqualified. I, I flunked out of everything. <laughs> or maybe you may got straight A pluses and everything. You can't depend on either one of them. You can only depend upon Him. Amen. Uh, but Paul says, I count all my accolades, fancy stuff, that he's got his dumb poop. He think all the stuff that you did is nothing but a bunch of poop. You think I'm explicit? Read the Bible. <laughs> and then he found out, no, I'm accepted because of Jesus. I accepted Jesus, so therefore I'm accepted in all areas of life. I'm qualified not because of the papers that, that, that I have hanging on the wall. There's nothing wrong with having papers on the wall. But even Paul said, it's all dumb. I mean, he was, uh, he was the head of the head, the boss of the boss, the, the head cheese and the TV star and everything else back then. But when he was Saul, he became Paul. And he realized it's who I am in Christ that makes the difference. That's what you have to decide. Not who you are in religion, not who you are in church, who you are in Christ. And the last one there, complete. I'm complete. Boy, you can really use your joy then. You start going over those three things, you can't get bummed out. Oh, the devil's tried to work on everybody, all of us, about not thinking about those three things. You think you're having a blue day? You start thinking on who you are in Christ in those three areas. There's 139 of them. But just those three right there will kick him out the door, away from your head, away from your thinking, 
Amen. That stinking thinking. Amen. So give your life to Jesus. You got nothing stopping you. Be filled with the Holy Spirit speaking tongues. You got nothing stopping you. Be healed today. Just accept it. I'm healed. I'm saved. I'm set free. I'm believe. Just accept it. Don't 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 accept it like, oh, I believe it can happen to me. That's no 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 no. Accept it means right then. You take it right then. Right then. Accept it right then. In Jesus' name. Amen. Be healed. Isaiah 53, 5. By stripes, you are the healed. Accept your finances. On the way down to church, one of the ladies uh, was telling me she had three financial blessings. Just on the way to church, just today. Well, how's that even how's that even possible? Because she gives. See, we have the easy part. We we get we accept what Jesus says, and then we just do it. We accept. He said, "If you say you're Lord and Savior, we say Lord and Savior." Then He does the work. He's the one that does the changes on the inside. We accept that we're the beloved. He does the changes on the inside. We accept that we're qualified. He does the changes on the inside. We accept. Uh, that we're complete in Him, He does the changes on the inside. We accept that He said, "Gives tithe, offering, and seed to this ministry." He does the, He does the cash flow. Hey man, He does it. I, it might look like it never coming, but don't look, don't look, don't look at if it's coming or not. Look at that you have it. He hath blessed you. Amen. Walk around saying that, but I have the blessing. And what happens? It starts working. Amen. How's it work? It's called faith. Faith, if you're in a faith place, you're going to have joy. I mean, everything around you might like us falling apart, but you know you got the money. You know you got it. You know you're healed. Your whole body might be like, like it's falling apart. You know, nope, I got it. See, I'm healed. I am the healed. I am the saved. I am the filled with the Holy Spirit. I am the delivered. I'm the healed, saved, set free, and delivered. You can just whistle and have a good old time. See, faith don't molly grub. No, that's doubt. You're looking at things. If you doubt, you're going to learn to do without. But see, when you're in faith, you become a blessing magnet because the blessing lives on the inside of you and the Holy Spirit goes out and gets what you got your faith on and brings it to you. Amen. Have a great one. Have a good one. God bless.